Why do we pray? So that what we eat will not become a problem to us. So what if you take accident every morning and pray? The Bible says you match deadly things, you eat deadly things, it will not hurt you. Because you are not, you don't even know that they are deadly things. Or, or you are kidnapped and they ask you to eat it and you pray. But for you to be alive and say, it is written, I will eat deadly things, they will not hurt me. And you go and bring bread that have been in your house for 21 days and you are eating. It means you are not managing this body well. Have you wondered why good people die and bad people seem to live long? Management. He travels abroad and says they should check all over his body. They check, they say, okay, this is what you need to be eating now. This is what you need to be doing now. What people don't know, we'll be killing them until they know. Let me tell you something. It's not a white man's thing. What a white man does not know, we'll be killing them. So knowledge has nothing to do with color. Yes, sir. That's not. If you don't know here, you will die here. If you don't know there, you will die there. Why do evil men live? They live because they go and take care of themselves. If there's anything going wrong, they find it early. Sometimes people die for not managing their body very well. Not knowing what to eat. Not going early to do investigation. I showed you where Paul told Timothy. He said, take this because of your frequent ailment. Drink no water, but use what? Little wine. For what? For thy stomach's sake and thy often infirmities. So they discovered there was something that normally troubled Timothy's tummy. Paul with the anointing said, this is what to take to manage it. Manage your body. Part of the management is come down from that your car. That your car. Take sometimes. Only you sit in one place. As I'm talking now, you'll be looking at those who are fat. Do you know some people who are fat may be healthier than you that is see? And let me tell you, some of you, you are not too fat, but you are based. Go, let them measure it. There's a way they measure it. Your weight plus your height. They will calculate it for you. You will know that as you are now, you are already obeyed. But, but there's somebody bigger than you that is not obeyed. Some of you, your cholesterol is terrible. And it has reached the level that if you continue like that, you may die soon while you are speaking in tongues. A healing is not the perfect will of God. The perfect will of God is health. And health is principle. Healing is an emergency feast. When something goes wrong, healing is a process of taking you back to health. There are signs you see in your body. You just go check and be sure. Every crusade you see that great men, no matter the great men, those healing you source being celebrated. There are many people who were not healed in there. So he, he chooses who to heal. It's his choice. But health is your choice. Healing is his choice. He paid for it. Healing is his choice. But what he gave you is health. So take care of what he has given you. He will take care of what he wants to do. Understand these things. So you start early. Exercise your body. Everybody stand up. And for you to stand. Brother, go and know what is wrong. Is this teaching against faith? No, sir. All your body is becoming heavy. And you are quiet. That's why people die. People die for knowing what to do. Two kinds of people die. Huh? People die for not knowing what to do. But the worst death is the one that people die knowing what to do and there is no do it. You can't check your BP. How did Paul know frequent ailment? It means they checked. You just heard the preacher say, I've never slept in the hospital. Why will you sleep in the hospital if you are doing the right thing? Some of them don't go to hospital, but hospital comes to them. They have reached the level where hospital doctors come to their house, check everything. Go and check green. Ah, my doctor, they come and check them. Some of them, they say, rest, eat like this. Eat. You don't need to eat like this. Manage yourself. If you need to meet a dietitian, meet the person and get cancer. I won't die young. I can't be sick. It's a principle. Who eat until everywhere is blooming. It's not life. Your body is shining, but you are dying. And when it eats, 
Prayer may not save you. Prayer may also save you. It's God's choice. If it's not his choice, there are believers who are active, working for God, who wouldn't have died. 